Well, I'll see if this video works. At least I can say one thing. Um, well, lots of things, really. But one thing I'm really happy about, I got all the freaking counters and all the Alberto markers put on. And so now I can really stare properly. I actually even got the... Um, hold on here. Got to switch hands. Um, I even got the uh, Festung divisions popped on here, like eight strength points over here. So Charles Tortoise has been doing his uh, work. I'll talk about like later uh, later on about uh, some of the shifts and so on and so forth. Another eight here, eight over here. Um, where's the uh, another eight over here? Here's the reserve one over here in Bra Bromberg. Um, so yeah, and I left all the um, strength points for both sides so that way you guys can kind of get an idea. Um, you know, it's been really strange, actually, is that, uh, the shadow, sorry about that, I'm gonna have to figure out something eventually, but, um, yeah, I just switched hands, I'll try to, oh, here, maybe this will help, um, not sure if this music is actually working, it's a bit, maybe too intense, um, I did shift it over, I just found that, um, I've been listening to all kinds of different styles of music today, but, um, maybe I should go back to the Baroque, uh, stuff for um, the Germans. Yeah, I'm just doing the central powers right now and um, I know it's about to happen a whole hot, hell of a lot of hurt Even if you don't know the specifics I think about remember I'm not playing Der Velkrieg Properly like I'm using uh, you know, it's skeleton or whatever and doing whatever But even if you like know certain things about games take a look at this Okay there's 22 strength points here, 10 there, 7 there. For, I haven't even moved anything yet, for Christ's sakes. Oh, well, yeah, I'll talk talk quickly. You know, I have to switch hands. Hold on. Or maybe not. Okay. So here's, uh, here's let's do a maxed out one or pretty close. Remember, I can move Alberto markers any which way I want. Um, so this is telling me that, um, yeah, I'm listening. So anyways, I'm no longer listening to um, the nice mellow... Um, country music or, uh, you know, that wham, whatever. I just, it didn't make sense for the German uh, bit. So I'm actually listening to some pretty severe um, uh, German, um, not Gabber techno, not that, well, pretty close though. Um, some pretty, pretty hard, hard techno. Uh, so it's just pounding away. But it kind of made sense uh, just due to the fact that this is what's going on. And you know, in a, on an odd, uh, in a side way, uh, thing that I thought was kind of neat was uh, when I, I've been watching uh, or listening to as well uh, earlier in the day, um, Rob Thompson lecture on uh, rail and so on and so forth. And he was mentioning that, you know, he goes, you know, a lot of times the soldiers were saying that, you know, they felt like a cog in the wheel. And he goes, you know what, in a weird way, they literally were. That was the first time that this, that a war became a, mass machinery a mass produced industrial thing you know really really um well as as you can imagine if it was like focused on rail but um he was like this is a war that like you know if the rail fell apart you're toast um that type of thing so anyways let's go back to the alberto markers hopefully here i'm gonna switch hands again it's just my hands get i i should have used a camcorder Maybe that's what i should do you know what that's what i'm gonna do I'll do a proper, uh, I, I think I've done one before, but I'll go over it again quickly. But I just kind of wanted to show you that um, there's going to be a whole, okay. Even, like I said, if you don't know the specifics about Der Velkrieg, that's, they can attack practically anything they want. And I haven't even moved anything. And there's supply points coming out of the yin yang. There's 10 there, another eight there for McCourt. That's just nuts. The Russians have nothing coming, just more reinforcements, no supply for another, well, it's only uh, 03 November and it ends in 07 November for crying out loud. Um, specifically right now, it, it feels kind of weird. The only thing I'm worried about uh, German wise, central powers wise at the moment is um, essentially just bad die rolls and being a bit sloppy because everything's going to go my way. Um, like even here right now, not to be like, I, I'm trying to go like, don't be sloppy, Chris. Nail this son of an F. Then we can, 
who cares? This guy can go fishing for crying out loud. He's not going to do anything. They have no supply coming. Like, what's he going to do? So, uh, stay there. I'll nail this son of a beat. We're going to nail the entrenchments. Those are the E2, E2, E2. They're gone. But not. I don't have to nail them in one turn right off the bat. I'll nail this, this son of a beat. I know. He gets a min uh, I get a minus one to, um, or minus two to my die roll. He gets a plus one. Uh, excuse me. 10 supply points, 22, 7, 4. I haven't even started move, or not that far, but I haven't even started moving stuff yet, and I've got ton Things are going well. Uh, on a side note, I do have a 9th Army Engineering uh, uh, Brigade uh, zipping up. They're eventually going to go there, a regiment, whatever, I think brigade, but anyways, it doesn't matter. They're going to go and fix that rail over there. Um so remember, I've got like basically three fronts for the Central Powers, the way they're looking at it. Uh, there's the Prego Rover front here, the Warsaw front here, and inadvertently, Wuj became part of the Tritown area uh, front over here, but that's just the way it is. Oh, hold on. Yeah, I don't know if you remember this. This is the, uh, the Katowice Conference Agreement, and it's going to come into effect this turn. So... Oh my God, I didn't even realize it. You'll see it later on. I went to go and look at it. And uh, part of the, so here's the, um, as you can see, 06 October turn, uh, Austria-Hungary, Leopold von uh, Birchtold, foreign minister, Franz uh, Xavier Josef Konrad von Holzendorf. I think he could speak like over 10 different freaking languages. It was just nuts. Uh, Chief of the general staff, uh, Istvan Tisa, Hungarian prime minister, and uh, uh, Germany, Kaiser Wilhelm II. Uh, you can see who's there. I'm not going to go through them all. It'll drive me up the tree. Um, it's page two. There, there he is. It's just, you know, blows me away. Is Here he is as a sixth corps commander of the fourth army. He's just like present there because he was like, hello, you're getting like multiple promotions in a second. You're not only going to just, you know, go from sixth corps commander of fourth army, you're actually going to be in control of this entire flipping front and we're actually even going to use your uh Berevich dictum as part of a con oh, i just love it and there's charles tortoise for crying out loud i forgot about that but uh he's part of the com oh, well he's the commander of the danzig garrisons all that festung divisions that are just about well the germans are about to unleash their hounds and away we go and there it is i don't know if you remembered but that uh so this turn uh a fair amount of these things have been done. I don't think the German command sent over two corps. I'll have to take a look. I don't think they did. I know the German command certainly did not uh, transfer over 10 supply points because as me as the uh, junior uh, logistical um, officer there for the, uh, well, the, uh, the Prussian um, logistical corps or whatever, um, you know, with my Operation Luther, I was trying to, like, avoid that as all possible. It, it didn't work, unfortunately. I have to do it, and uh, Operation Luther is about to fall. Well, it's over. Trust me. It is. It was a great... Oh, God, I loved that doing that. Oh, I can tell you that much. But, um, so that's that. Th these things need to be done, man. Uh, most of it's already done. As you can see, like, there's the Berevich dictum up there. Boink, giddy, boink. So, I'll, I'll, hold on. Yep, and so even here, like it's just so they're gonna the Austro the Austrians are not only gonna get um, unless I'm wrong, but I think they get another two core. I I I know the Germans are not gonna send them the best in the of the bunch. They're probably just gonna send them a couple of. That's right, they're gonna send them some uh, Festung divisions, the little buggers. But they still have to send ten supply points over. So wait, and they're on the same side. So like, give me a break. Um, it's going to be rough. It's going to be rough for the Russians. Uh, you, I know like a lot of you people are like combat crazy and, and love seeing all that type of stuff. You're going to see a lot of that type of stuff. Trust me. I mean, how can you not? There's so much strength points coming for the Germans and the Austrians. Remember, they also got to um, turn their little versions of uh, Festung divisions, which I called Hotzendorf divisions. I thought that was so cool. They're not as uh, nice as... the. Um, the Festung divisions, but such is life. Um, yeah, things are going to go well, I think. Sorry if I'm a bit jingly. I still have to do like an overhead thing in my bob. But that's about it. Um, 
Yeah, I want to go off and read. Actually, you know what? I'm on a side note. I know I'm talking about the mini game or whatever, but I think I'm going to really um, focus a bit, uh, a big chunk for uh, next live stream. I want to um, uh, really like set myself back up on the um, on the Great War in Africa. So hopefully, I'll be reading up on that. But there's other stuff I'm going to do too. I mean, hey man, we're all on. You know, it's just been a great old time. Okay, I think that's about it. Ugh, ugh, ugh. Uh, it just sucks, man, be because I just don't want to do anything else, really, to be honest with you. I just want to, like, get up in the morning, and it's like, ugh, whatever. I, I know, it's, it's the way it goes. Okay, see ya.